first thing you see as you enter Albuquerque's west side on I-40 and the last thing you see when you leave, a man-made volcano that will shoot water, not lava. And as Anchor Royal Day shows us, it is part of a storm quality project. I'm Royal Day reporting near 98th and I-40 where there is a huge project happening here right now. Now eventually there's going to be some major improvements to this diversion channel, but they're also going to build a volcano here. Here's a little preview. Out here, there's a lot of sand and tumbleweeds nestled along the interstate. But when it rains, this dirt channel fills up and the erosion threatens I-40. We could lose the westbound lane of the freeway, which it, we've never gotten close, but we don't want to. So uh, it's time to get this fixed. Jerry Lovato is an engineer with the Albuquerque Metropolitan Arroyo Flood Control Authority, or AMAFCA. He says a concrete channel will go in and divert the water into the Rio Grande. But in order to put storm water into the river, oxygen must be pumped into it, making the water better for fish. That process will happen in here. We're trying to mimic the volcanoes that are on the west side, uh, the dormant volcanoes with a water quality volcano. It'll be 12 feet high. Lovato and a team of engineers worked on this scaled down version of the project at UNM's Hydro Lab. The volcano will aerate the water and will be a landmark for the city. A bike path is also going in. When there's water in the channel and it's being diverted up into the, the structure itself, should shoot between four to six feet high in the air. Lovato says this is flood control made interesting. Neighborhood kids, uh, it's raining, they'll be able to get on the bike trail, come over and watch this water pop up out of the air. It'll cost around $4.2 million to build. Amafka and the city are footing the bill. The goal is to start turning this desert into a volcano next spring. They're going to pick a contractor hopefully in January or February to do this massive project and we are told it's likely a New Mexico company will get that bid. Reporting in Albuquerque, I'm Royal Day, KOAT Action 7 News. Our